So we're at Artiste Tasting Room in Healdsburg today in downtown Healdsburg and we're talking with Brian Rice, the winemaker for Artiste. Wine, wines. Yeah, yeah, our Artiste Winery and also a tasting studio. So that means that you can come in, you can paint, you can draw, you can taste wine and of course look around and see some of the fabulous artists that we have that we represent that are contemporary impressionist painters. Uh, inspiration for Artiste came from Monet's studio in Giverny. So each of the wines we create is not only inspired by the art that we work with on the label, but also pays homage to an old world place. So it's our impression of a place, say, in France, Italy, or Spain. This is an artist from San Francisco. His name is Daniel Bayless. Uh, he painted this beautiful floral image, and it's called Le Fleur. It's a Gewürztraminer-based blend, so we took inspiration from the painting to create a real floral white. And uh, it represents an area in France called Alsace. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right, and each of the items on the tasting menu are matched with each of the wines. A, a local cheese expert, Doralise um, Hendal of the Cheese Shop. But definitely with food, it brings out all the complexities and wonderful layers of the wine. So this is our uh, wine called A Good Year, and it's a tribute to the artist's father who's on the cover. Uh, it's a Malbec-based blend, and it's called A Good Year because uh, we're experiencing a great year right now. Oh yeah? And uh, this guy, this character, uh, is from Buenos Aires, and he's smelling a really good year. A wine that uh, is a blend of Malbec, Petit Verdot, Cabernet, and Cab Franc. It's actually an Argentine style blend. Yeah. And in Argentina, their noble grape is Malbec. Okay. The character on the cover here, his name is the Hawk. He's the father of the artist. He was a bit of a bon vivant, fine wine, fine food, fine women. Yeah. And uh, he loved Malbec, and this is a tribute to the artist's father. Oh, and great. Well, I definitely smell cherries and taste cherries, and I like this one. Um, I kind of drew on some, some exciting thoughts, which was that wine is much like art and that when you create a painting, uh, you're putting yourself into it. You're taking different colors and making a composition or some, uh, telling a story through paint. Well, I thought, well, why can't you do that with wine? And so when I blend the artiste wines, it's done in a way that is unique and different and, and tells a story.